Strangest things found at the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Hey everyone, it's Alexa, back again with another video. Deep within the waters of the western Pacific Ocean sits the Grand Mariana Trench, a crescent-shaped trough carved into the Earth's crust. It can be found at about 35,814 feet below sea level at its deepest. What strange creatures call this mighty trench home? Keep watching to find out. But before we get into the video, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon to be notified of all our upcoming videos. 19. Dumbo Octopus this creature got its name from researchers likening it to the Disney elephant. Do you see the resemblance? The Dumbo octopus lives between 984 to 1600 feet below the surface of the water. You'd be hard pressed to find them because as dark as it gets down there, they also only measure between 8 to 12 inches long. The largest Dumbo octopus ever found, however, measured 6 feet long. They are among the rarest in the Octopoda species, though their distribution is quite wide, found from New Zealand all the way to Oregon. 18. Ghostfish In 2016, scientists spotted a ghostfish alive for the first time in recorded history. Found swimming along the deep of the Mariana Trench, the moment was captured on camera by members of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration aboard the Okeanos Explorer vessel. That particular ghost fish lived along the trench at about 8,200 feet deep, measuring only 4 inches. Described to possess gelatinous skin, the ghost fish's appearance startled scientists to see in real life, likening it to a fantasy creature. It feeds near the deepest parts of the water, categorized as part of the bottom-feeding family. 17. Benthicodon it kind of looks like a UFO, don't you think? Instead of being from outer space and a huge ship, they measure to one and a half inches or four centimeters in diameter and live at the bottom of the ocean. The benthicodon live their whole lives as plankton, unlike other jellyfish that may go through a sessile stage. The monotypic genus of hydrozoans live near the sea floor, sweeping away like little brooms. Do you see just how many tentacles they have? Scientists estimate them to grow anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 of those squiggly legs, which assist them in moving along the deep sea easier and faster. 16. Fan Fin Sea Devil a new anglerfish has been discovered in the depths of the Mariana Trench. Those familiar with anglerfish will recognize that it has the same bulging body, sharp teeth, and bioluminescent lure hanging over its face. The fanfin sea devil was seen alive for the first time this year, with that particular one discovered in the waters of the Azores west of Portugal. These animals exhibit what's known as sexual dimorphism, when the males and females look incredibly different from one another. In the case of the fanfin sea devil, the females measure between between 6 to 8 inches long, while males only grow to half an inch. 15. Osidax Most people just refer to them as zombie worms or bone-eating worms. Instead of feasting on organs, the zombie worm feeds on the bones of dead whales. Interestingly enough, for something with the word eating in one of its names, the zombie worm lacks both a mouth and a stomach. So how do they eat? They need the help of a symbiotic species of bacteria to help them digest the whale's lipids. The bacteria release those nutrients which the zombie worm absorbs. Gross. 14. Spookfish Of course, something down there has the name spookfish. What else would you expect from the darkest depths of the ocean? Most commonly known as the barrel eye fish, sometimes this little argentiniform fish gets called the spookfish for its creepy appearance. However, the name also belongs to a few species of chimera. So to not get confusing, let's just say barrel eye fish. This creature lives about 1300 feet deep. Their eyes contain a lot of rods, helping them catch the silhouettes of other animals swimming overhead, while their binocular vision helps them track small zooplankton, copepods, and crustaceans for food. 13. Comb Jelly These gelatinous fish often appear to emit rainbow colors from their pulsating bells and the long tentacles that trail behind them. Comb jellies recently experienced a boom in population, most likely due to the changing temperatures and extreme commercial fishing of their predators. They may seem pretty and small, but make no mistake. Comb jellies and other types of jellyfish in such thriving conditions can cause problems for power plants that utilize seawater for cooling and also make it more difficult for fisheries to function, as well as making it difficult for you to swim by without being stung by one. Their bioluminescent combs refract light. No bones grow in their bodies, which consist of 95% water. 12. Fangtooth Fish 
These Bericiform fishes family, the Anoplogastridae, comes from the Greek words for unarmed stomach. However, its common name, the fangtooth fish, comes from its huge, sharp teeth. If for some reason you found yourself in the deep sea, there's no need to worry when encountering this thing. Although they look terrifying, truth is the fangtooth is quite small, just six and a half inches in length, and experts say they pose no harm to humans. 11. Deep Sea Dragonfish have you noticed how small some of these animals are? That's what happens when you're deprived of light. Listen to your parents and go outside once in a while. Just kidding, do whatever you want, because look at this deep sea dragonfish. It looks really cool, even if it's small. The deep sea dragonfish produces its own light via bioluminescence. This predator has teeth and a small little barbel of light under its chin. They live about 5,000 feet deep and can be found in most oceans. 10. Football Fish Put away your chips and dip. The football fish isn't named for its entertainment aspect, but you do have to admit it looks a lot like pigskin. The football fish are a family of fish that consists of these globose anglerfish. About 22 species belong to this family. Female football fish possess lanterns over their heads, like all anglerfish do, to attract prey. To mate, they have to go through a different process because it's so dark in the Mariana Trench. The much smaller male has to bite through the skin of the female until their skins grow together. Really romantic, isn't it? 9. Telescope Octopus Another octopus on the list. This one more closely resembles the other gelatinous animals that may live deep within the trench. They pretty much look colorless, unlike many other octopi, though it still has those standard eight arms, of course. The telescope octopus has tubular eyes, the only kind of octopus that possesses this, hence their name. 8. Deep Sea Hatchetfish the marine or deep sea hatchetfish evolved their bodies to make it look the way it does now. It's a peculiar shape that apparently reminded biologists a lot of a hatchet thanks to its thorax looking like a blade. Not only do their shapes correspond to that of a hatchet, but they also grow to be quite thin creatures too. Their scales are delicate and easily fall off. Deep sea hatchetfish have glowing photophores on their bellies and sides which let them hide in the deep water since it helps them counteract the light that seeps in from above. 7. Frilled Fish You might be more used to the size and teeth of a great white shark, but its deep sea cousin can be just as frightening. Have you ever seen teeth that look more like frills than jagged arrows? You would if you ever saw a frilled shark smile. This extant species of shark capture prey by bending their bodies and then lunging towards them, more like a snake than a shark. They live at depths of 160 to 660 feet below the surface of the water, though they have been found as deep as 5100 feet. 6. Vampire Squid It doesn't get more haunting than a vampire in a dark, underwater trench. Vampire Squid's scientific name actually means Vampire Squid from Hell, and they live in extreme, deep conditions of temperature and tropical waters. At least they're not massive, only growing to a maximum length of about a foot. Its gelatinous body can appear jet black, though some other squids may be a pale red. We call it a squid, but scientists find that it shares features with both squids and octopi and therefore has its own taxonomic order. 5. Black Sea Devil Anglerfish The next anglerfish on the list is the Black Sea Devil. They don't have the most non-threatening names, do they? The Black Sea Devil anglerfish's body is scaleless for the most part, though it's more known for its glassy, fang-like mouth. It also appears distinct for its cavernous mouth that faces above rather than forward. The Black Sea Devil's family name translates from Greek to mean Black Sea Monster. 4. Viperfish While a lot of these creatures look like they should not be trifled with, the viperfish especially holds a reputation for being quite aggressive and ferocious. A viperfish's photophores sit along the tip of its long dorsal spine. Because it's so dark in the deep sea, the viperfish need to use their abnormally large teeth to grab onto prey quickly before they can slip away. They do have a sense of night and day, though. During the day, viperfish swim at 5,000 feet, but by the nighttime, they rise up to shallower waters at 2,000 feet. 3. Gran Rojo Jellyfish Of all the sea jellies in the world, the Gran Rojo ranks as the largest. The Gran Rojo Jellyfish, or the Tiburonia, was first discovered in 2003. It doesn't look like most jellyfish, though, does it? They live anywhere from 2,000 to 4,900 feet deep. They can be found in the deep waters from Japan to Monterey Bay and even Hawaii. Tiburonia only describes the genus, with about 23 members within the species of Gran Rojo found, and only one ever retrieved for study. 2. Giant Toxic Amoeba 
What? You thought amoebas all came in microscopic sizes? Well, guess what? Giant amoebas exist. On top of that, they're toxic. Experts found that they live within the Mariana Trench among about 200 other species of microorganisms. These amoebas, however, measure to about four inches. So if you're not a fan of the way microorganisms look, stay away from that trench. It'd be difficult to destroy an amoeba too because scientists discovered that they have the ability to avoid heavy metal poisoning. Because of this, these huge amoebas contain concentrated levels of lead and uranium. Before we get to number one, let us ask you this. If all of these can live in the deepest parts of the ocean, what else do you think has yet to be discovered down there? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. One, goblin shark. Of all the tiny, creepy creatures living deep within the Mariana Trench, the goblin shark is actually pretty big. Named for its pale, translucent skin and strange face, this shark often gets classified as a living fossil. Goblin sharks come from a lineage that spans 125 million years. Its elongated snout and black eyes make it one figure to behold in the dark. Unlike other sharks that swim at incredible speeds, studies suggest that the goblin shark moves quite sluggishly, maybe because there's not much threat threatening them down there. Once in a while, a stray goblin shark might get caught up by deep water fisheries. <laughs>